It's really bad. I kind of underestimated the power of this kit. That's one of the worst highlight jobs I've ever seen. I just hope, hope my hair is not gonna look too splashy. Holy shit, that looks insane. I genuinely don't think there's anything I can do to fix it now. It's so bad. <gasps> Hi, beautiful. Up first, we have a video by Rochella Beauty. I've had my hair dark for a little while now. I s came across this new L'Oreal Baylage kit. A Baylage kit? The f is a Baylage kit? If you don't know how to pronounce balayage, you probably shouldn't be balayaging your own head at home with a f box dye kit. If there's one box dye kit that is the scariest, that would be a balayage box dye kit. Balayage takes so much time as a professional to perfect. It is one of the most difficult things to do in the salon as a professional and do it very, very well and make it look super natural. So doing this at home is likely gonna be a huge disaster. <laughs> I just had to give it a try and spice things up a little. Oh, you're definitely gonna spice it up. So it comes with developer, lightning powder, lightning cream, and a toning mask. And I was like, Let's get it, let's get right to it. And then I'm gonna show you the little brush close up. This is like the tool that's supposed to help do the balayage. I thought this was balayage, not microdermabrasion. What the fuck is that? Why is there little needles on it? That looks like a torture device. What the fuck? In any scenario, when we're brushing bleach into the hair, it's just not a good idea. Brushing it like that causes bleeding and lines in places you don't want them to be, hair that shouldn't be colored being colored, and chunky sections, and it's not gonna be blended if you use a brush like this. No, this is all around just a horrible, horrible, horrible idea, and I am scared for your life. I'm scared for your well-being, I'm scared for your health, I'm scared for your life. It's not too late to back out. I kind of messed up with the toning mask. I accidentally put it in with my developer cream when I was supposed to be putting the lightener in there. Shut the f up. I'm sorry. You put the hair conditioner inside your bleach formula? Honestly, the only thing that's gonna happen is it might dilute the formula and make it a little less powerful, which sucks. But, <coughs> but luckily, your bleach is still gonna work just fine, I think. I hope. Who knows? So this is the moment where I realize what I did, but there's not really anything I could do about it. You know, also the fact that you messed this up should have been a red flag. You know, the directions usually say, mix number one with number two inside the bottle. The only job you have to do is look at number one and look at number two and mix them together. I can guarantee you that conditioner had a number on it and it did not say number one and number two. All you gotta do is squeeze the bottle in. Come on! If we can't do that, there's no way we can do balayage. After all, it is just a toner, so I just left it in there and I kept pushing, put the lightning cream, put the cap on, shook it up. She's like, I screwed this up already, but fuck it. We're going to town on this. I've committed to it and we're doing it. So it ended up coming out this really strange color it looked very similar to peanut butter. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look right. I think she said she was using bleach powder, so I think this is bleach powder. That don't look like bleach at all. There's probably some kind of reaction happening with that toning conditioner formula that you put in there, and uh, that doesn't look right to me. We're gonna go through with it anyways, huh? All right. There was no turning back at this point. I'll show it you the color again, see what I mean? That's actually not true. There was an opportunity to turn back. You could have just dumped this in the trash and not done your hair, but we didn't do that. So there's the brush again. You kind of put it between your two fingers. That is how you are supposed to apply the product. So I went ahead and started brushing it in and I didn't know exactly what I was doing. It was my first time with a kit like this. <laughs> oh God, oh. oh. Oh, this is gonna be a fail. Yeah, so she took that brush and just put a f stripe in the front of her head. Don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't f ever do that. Yeah, no, don't do it. I'm just, I was just thinking like, should they do it? And I was like, no, still no, it's still a no. That could have not been a worse technique when it comes to application. The way the color is laid on the hair is a indicator on what it will look like when it's done being colored, right? So if you put a line on your head, a sh jagged line on your head, a f up wide ass line and color on your head, it's gonna also look like a sh the thick line on your head when it's washed out. I know, the concept is crazy. But I'm doing like some highlights, I guess. I didn't know, should I brush it along the whole top layer? Should I, you know, but I ended up trying to do like highlights, I think, like kind of chunky highlights. This is me contemplating everything. Oh my God, it keeps getting worse. I'm shocked. Um, okay. <laughs> What is going on? 
I don't know what the look was that you were going for, but I can guarantee you it wasn't stripes. You picked up a balayage box die kit. I'm guessing you wanted a more natural look. So a good pointer here is that highlights are usually more dense at the bottom of your hair and less dense at the top of your hair, right? Typically your hair gets very bleached by the sun in the summer, then it grows out during the winter and you kind of always end up with lighter ends towards the bottom. That's a more natural look. Also around the hairline is always quite bright. Focusing the attention on more towards the ends and working a little bit of that lightener up would give you a much more natural balayage effect However, doing this at home is very difficult and not recommended. It's giving mustard, you guys. I just kept going. There I am still. If you have like thick hair, it's kind of hard to brush with the little brush, but there's how much product I use. Why is this bleach look like mustard? That is the most wild looking bleach I've ever seen. I don't know what happened to her formula. Well, I do know what happened. I don't know why she then proceeded with putting that on her head. Also, holy sh the frame that I'm stuck on right now, <laughs> I looked back over at my computer and I was like, oh. It got worse. I honestly didn't think it could, but she turned around and it looks like somebody cracked an egg on the top of her head and just left it there. This should have been the time where you were like, oh fuck. Let me rinse this out. But for some reason, she kept going. It does suggest you pour the product into a shallow bowl, so that's why I had done that. Why is there no highlights at the bottom of your head? Why is there so many at the top? I just don't get the vision. And then you can more effectively dip the brush in. Put my hair up, put my little cap on. The rest is history. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. It's really bad. I kind of underestimated the power of this kit. I thought this was gonna be like light brown highlights for brown hair and the bleach was like stronger than I thought. I have like a very coppery color in some parts and then like that is so bad. I'm gonna take my braids out to show you guys. Um, it's definitely partly my part, my, partly my fault. Partly? Part, who else's fault is it? Holy shit, that looks insane. That's one of the worst highlight jobs I've ever seen. I'm making you feel very bad right now. But part of me thinks you deserve it. Like, I don't even mind this color, but by the roots, it's so bad. It's just really ugly. Holy sh it is an absolute terrifying mess right now. We have a bright blonde at the root, like an inch. Then we have orange on the mids and ends. We have some more like reddish tones at the ends. It's just splotchy all over. What are you gonna do to fix this? What are you gonna do? It still doesn't help really yet. Did you just see the top of her head? Oh. <laughs> Final result. And I definitely need to fix it. I don't know, I'm at a loss. SOS. This did not turn out how I thought or how I wanted. You don't say, it's not how you wanted it. It's giving abstract masterpiece. It's gi- Never mind. It's probably my fault, but also like, what is with the color? Poker? It's still cute though. Oh, the back. It's really all bad. Please tell me you didn't walk around the world like that. If I saw you outside, my eyes would be burned. They would be burning, bleeding even. I would have to get an eye transplant. But wait, it doesn't end there. She does it again. Let's see what the next round of highlights looks like. <laughs> where we've been at for a while and I've been just living with it. It's not terrible. Can't believe she left like that. I'm finally ready, I guess, to kind of put in some, try again to do some highlights. The fact that she's going in again with another box die kit to highlight her hair again. Why? Let's see if her technique got any better now with the second round. <laughs> No. Oh God, it's worse. How did it get worse? She, what? There is one side of her head with lightener on it and just on the root area, right? And then she took one section and just did a couple stripes. Just a couple, just two. I don't know, just why not two? She seemed to have totally ignored the back of her head. Uh, and then we are now smushing the bleach down, which is going to cause bleeding and um, bleeding of the bleach, not of her head and spottiness. And uh, yeah, it's just gonna look absolutely terrible again. Okay guys, I've had it on for about 10 minutes and I'm probably gonna leave it for at least like 10 more. Hey guys, so this is me. No, 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 
No. No. <laughs> oh my god, what the f it actually looks worse. Uh, surprisingly, she made it look worse. After the bleaching, the texture was, oh my gosh, just like, shh. It was like freaking straw or whatever you call it. It was not good. And when I was rinsing it out, it also did not feel good at all. Take a look at this side of my head. This is the more favorite side. Now we have this side, which is still pretty patchy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is looking a little rough. We're gonna deal with it for now and maybe tone. A little! I for a second really thought it can't get any worse. This is, this is it. This is it. Congratulations, you outdid yourself. Holy sh this looks absolutely awful. Wow. I mean, did we even try? Also, how is she not freaking out right now? How is she not having an actual panic attack? It is black, it is brown, it is blonde, it is piss yellow. Everything is messed up. One side is a completely different color than the other. I mean, there's just so much going on. And she, oh, she left it like that, by the way. She fully left it like that. Okay, so for my recommendation, don't ever do this again. <laughs> okay, I think we got that one. Secondly, go dark. No more blonde for you because your hair is also fried. That's enough. We've all seen enough. We've all had enough, especially me. So thank you for burning my soul and my eyes. I just want to go home. <laughs> Up next we have a video by Rory Marks. I'm doing her hair and I'm doing my hair but she's gonna help me because we're doing highlights. No. The worst part of this is that she has beautiful hair. Like gorgeous shiny brown long hair and she's about to highlight it. And her hair is also really dark so god so we're going to be using color remover because both of us have a lot of product on our hair already from past box dyes. She has box dye on her hair too. Just to add fuel to the f fire. I don't know why we have color remover. You can't do highlight color remover. It doesn't really work like that. Well, you can, but we wouldn't want to do that. That's weird. We got some bleach. We got the 20 volume. We both got the same color. We got like a like an ash blonde. It's like silver. And then we got these caps for highlights. Oh, did she just pull a cap out of the bag? We're doing a cap highlight. Have we not learned our lesson, guys, with cap highlights? What the f*** is that on her head? What? I have never in my life seen a cap highlight thing like that, ever. Actually, in second thought, it's most definitely just backwards. The highlighting cap is backwards. I'm quite sure that's backwards. It has to be backwards. There's no way that visor is supposed to come out like that. Sorry, it's just so funny that that cap is put on backwards. Like, that flap is supposed to cover your shoulders, not your face. Okay, so the issue with cap highlights is the fact that you are pulling hair out of random spots of the head. You just really don't know what piece you're picking up and where it's coming from. You have a relative idea of where it's coming from, but you end up pulling pieces from spots you didn't want to put highlights in. Also, the highlights are going to be different on both sides of the head. Usually, we like symmetry when it comes to hair color, but to each their own. We definitely did not pull enough hair out of those holes. Like, there was only probably 20 pieces pulled out, which is just going to give you like random sparse little like strippy highlights all over the head. And it's definitely not what we're looking for here. So... Great. Now we're gonna put the color remover. We're using the punky colors. What part of this gave you an idea? This would come out good. At this moment, are you like, yes, we're on to something. Like we are good, we got it. Awesome, this is going so well. At this point, I would be freaking out. Like um, something about having my hair pulled through holes makes me feel like maybe, maybe it won't come out good. Uh, and something about seeing a bunch of people online doing the same exact thing makes me feel like maybe it won't come out good. It's lifting, you can see. Oh, why is that pop? Is that blonde? I'm trying. Yeah, that's my natural root. My hair's gonna be orange and yellow oh, like and that. all these different things. She said it. She's calling it even before I did. I'm using purple shampoo. You guys, purple shampoo is not gonna save your hair. It is not going to save your hair from being orange. It is not gonna save your hair, period. It's really great for blonde hair. Very, very blonde hair. But using this on orange highlights, purple does not cancel out orange. Blue does. This is the result of what we have. really happy about how all this turned out. Hold on. Did I hear that right? She said, I'm so happy with the way this turned out. I'm happy that you're happy. However, can we just acknowledge the elephant in the room? And that is that this did not come out good. Unless you were looking for stripes in random places around your head, which I don't think you were. I would say objectively, this did not come out good. I'm so sorry. No, I will not be silenced. I mean, there are stripes here, stripes there, stripes underneath, and dark everywhere in between. I don't feel like that was your goal. 
I'm also gonna get some kind of like a silver shampoo corrector to add like silver after I use the toning. I think it will make it look less orange. I wouldn't even be mad if all of it kind of looked like this. Up here is way more brighter it's because those are my natural roots and the rest of my hair has been dyed before but I did pull the color out before I bleached it. And I'm going for a round two so I'm gonna use more color off. Okay, so apparently we are highlighting with color remover which I have never in my life tried or seen anybody do. I suppose that works. You know, and a lot of color remover does have bleach in it. I guess that's fine. I've just, I, that's interesting. I want to leave a lot of it like brown underneath because apparently just, that's the way I like it. And we're going for round two. Mmm, couldn't stop there, huh? It's brightening up because I did the color remover again, so we're just waiting now. And I'm gonna wash it out using the conditioner for the product. Okay, we did some hand-painted balayage. <laughs> It's looking even crazier than before. Even more potentially awful. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna use this blue shampoo for like a toner. And then if it's still not the color that I want, I'm going to use this shampoo color, silver. I have a concept for you. Have you thought about using a toner? Yes, purple shampoo has toning benefits. It's not exactly a toner in the sense of like something that's really gonna powerfully change your hair color and make it actually a good color for your skin tone and for your hair and for your life. I don't know guys, I feel crazy today. I just hope, hope my hair is not gonna look too splashy. It's looking weird blonde brown all over in random spots. I just don't know what the technique was. Next time, focus the lightener on the front of your hair, bring it down towards the back, okay? And then really saturate your ends. You'll get something a little bit better than this. And always remember over direction. If you take the hair that grows down like this and you pull it up like this and you paint it with highlights and you let it back down, you'll get a softer effect with the highlights. Or if your hair grows in this direction, you pull it this direction and you paint the highlight in and then you let it back down, you'll get a softer highlight that way too. So over direction is key to a more natural highlighted look that I think you were going for. I'm kind of scared because I messed up with a lot of my highlights. So I used this kind of blue shampoo. It's supposed to take out orange pigment. So this is what it looks like. Um, I went over it. It is kind of splotchy. Like, did you see this? Look at that. It's like dark. So I'm obviously going to have to touch it up. You're going to have to do a little more than touch it up. You're going to have to completely uh, do the whole thing over. It's looking janky. It's getting worse. It's not look very good. I should have just toned it earlier and not dyed it. Way too much. And look at that. The funny part about these last two videos is that they both missed the front of their hair, which is typically where people want highlights, right? Like you're not, usually people aren't looking for a black stripe and then highlights. They're looking for a highlight and then dark in the back. But for some reason, we're doing the opposite today. Whatever. Go for it. And now we're just toning with blue shampoo. That's not gonna work. You need power, you need strength, you need like a level eight ash toner to cancel all of that orange out of your hair. You're gonna need to use a level that is not a level 10 for toning. Toners do not come in one level, they come in multiple levels. So you have to choose the level that is right for you and what kind of tone you're looking for for your end result. So I'm kind of stressed. I don't know whether to stress or not, but up here it looks pretty good. It's what I've decided. I'm actually just gonna go blonde again. like. Platinum blonde. I already have so many highlights, especially up here. I just have to get this part mostly darker. Right now I'm kind of like a freaking strawberry blonde is what it looks like. No, no, no. You're actually closer to brown right now than you are to blonde. To fix all this and get it to be an even blonde is going to be so difficult. To make this back to dark is going to be so, so easy. Don't go blonde, but I'm sure you will. Don't worry guys, we're going lighter with more bleach. And this time we're doing it all over apparently. I'm so worried about those parts of her hair that are already quite light, and we are just going in there with more lightener. Oh. I'm not even mad, it kinda looks better than before. It's like a blue green, because I just put blue shampoo. Why is that your choice of toner? I don't understand. Just use a real like toning toner toner. I wouldn't recommend toning with it at first. So guys, it is morning and we are closer. Oh my God, it just keeps getting blonder, blonder. Look at that, that's what we want it to be. It's because it's my roots. So kind of patchy. I don't even mind at this point. It's way better than it was. I'm not going to lie. It is way better. We're so close to the color. I think it's only going to take one more bleaching. My roots are still way more darker. I mean, lighter than the rest. Well, not my roots, but the closest to my roots. Because obviously, it hasn't been dyed a thousand times like the rest. We're officially blonde. It's a little bit lighter than dark blonde. I think it's not even fully dry all the way. The hair's not orange anymore. Like it doesn't look orange. Maybe like a little bit orange tint, but like it's blonde. I haven't even seen the back yet. I'm really scared. I 
him I got a decent amount. So she ends there. It's still so uneven. We did so many processes. She toned her hair like 50 times in between, guys. I didn't show you half of it, but she was toning it with purple shampoo and blue shampoo and silver shampoo and every single shampoo. She probably spent so much money on shampoos. You could just use a toner. And also the blonde on the top is way blonder than the blonde on the bottom. And that is because she probably had her natural root growing out and then she had the box dye on the ends. An absolute mess. You need to even this out or just do a root shadow. Something like a level seven or a level eight on the top or a level eight over everything would look really nice. A little more of an ash tone would go better with your skin tone. Things need to just be pulled together right now. At least we have sort of a base to work with that you can kind of fix this, but it's gonna be difficult to fix for sure. So good luck. Up next we have a video by Mia Harrison. I'm about to bleach my hair. I'm not even freaking allowed to bleach my hair anymore. We're gonna do it anyway. Who told you to stop doing it? That's probably a sign that somebody's telling you not to. I work as an apprentice in a hair salon and we're not meant to bleach or dye our own hair. We're not meant to do our own hair in case it like goes wrong and everything. She's an apprentice at a hair salon, so my standards are... They're going up. They're not DIY anymore. She completed hair school, so we're up here now. I'm not even gonna bleach my roots. I just want all of this to be more blonde. There's already a lot going on with her hair. Like it is sort of this greenish brown color on the ends and then this very dark root. It looks to be colored. It is kind of like a like, very inky brown. Like it looks dense, but her hair looks fine and, and on the thinner side. Typically this hair lightens very easily. So we'll see though. I'm not gonna be doing my roots. I'm gonna be putting the bleach maybe up to here and it's only going to be quite a low volume developer and it's not going to be on blonde i don't want to lighten it too much i don't just want like a line where it's like roots and then blonde um hold on so your definition of not doing your roots is much different than mine when you said you're not doing your roots i thought you meant you weren't going to do your roots but then what you did after that was you pointed to your roots and said i'm not going to go past here we're not seeing eye to eye right now this I contact thing is not working for me because I don't understand now. I am very confused. So I don't want to apply it on every single strand of hair, but I can't like oil my own hair to make it highlighted or anything. That would take way too much time and be just like way too difficult. So I'm just going to do it. I could have sworn she said she was highlighting her hair, not bleaching the entire thing. I don't know what's going on. She's taking hair from the bottom up, which is good, you know? We like that. Keeps everything nice and organized and she has sections going on. Awesome. However, she is putting lightener on every single piece of hair. I mean, I'm guessing she wants more of like an ombre look, but we'll see because I think she needs a little dimension in there. Or else it's just gonna be like dark for like a centimeter and then blonde everywhere. I just don't think that's the look she's going for. Next time you do this, leave sections out in between. Also take sections at a vertical. That way everything is it's not just like stacked on top of itself like bricks. You won't get much blending that way. If you do vertical sections, you will get more blending and things will look a little bit more natural. We're working our way up the head and the back is already really, really light. I thought she didn't want it to be that light. I think she said she used 13 volume. I don't know, which makes me think that she doesn't want her hair to get that light. And it's blonde back there. It's time to rinse, babe. It is time to get that lightener off the back of your head before it turns white blonde. You have fine hair. Fine hair lifts very quickly. Take it off. This is why it's important in salon. A lot of people work in sections and rinse off hair in sections or they change their developers as they work around the head. Because once you apply that bleach on the head, it is immediately starting to work. And by the time you get to the front section or the last section you work on, the back one or the first one you worked on, it's already blonde. So we got to change developers or work in sections and rinse in sections. I don't know why I repeated that twice, but hopefully you get it now. It's so bad. I genuinely don't think there's anything I can do to fix it now. I think it's too late. Okay, but all of this hair is not going to bleach at all. She missed the back of her head like all the top of it and she just realized that now and you can't do anything about it now because it's already processing in the back you don't want to then put new bleach on top of the top or else it'll be orange and the rest will be blonde underneath and it's going to be crazy and patchy and awful so now she has to rinse everything out blow dry it all and then apply more bleach onto those sections she forgot about what a pain in the ass i feel like it goes quite high on this piece and no others and it's just patchy there's literally Orange. To be honest with you, it's not that bad. Uh, I was expecting something way worse. It is definitely patchy though, and it needs a lot of work. It's workable. With the right toner, we can make this work, but something tells me she's not gonna do the right toner. I'm just gonna apply a toner. I need to have it 
be a really warm blonde color because of all the warmth in my hair. Okay, we're now toning the hair and I don't know what she's using to tone it, but I'm hoping that is she's chose the darkest level of the blonde in her hair to tone with, right? It's like, it's like a level eight on her hair and she's gonna choose level eight to tone so that way everything else that is not level eight gets brought down to that and she has a more even blonde tone at the bottom. This is savable, we're almost there, we almost got this. I hope she pulls it together. I'm just hoping that this toner is gonna sort of blend it all together a little bit better. I just don't know if it's gonna be able to do anything though. Quite literally, this peach color is not gonna budge. And she has peach tones in the back. Ah, that's not gonna help that. It's way darker on camera than it actually is. It's gonna be like really blonde and it's gonna look so bad because that warmth is still showing through. Uh, it looks good. It doesn't look perfect. So we have got a whole situation going on in that there's like my roots and there's this really bright orange band and then there's the blonde, but it looks so much better than I thought it was going to. I'm pleased with the result. I've still not looked yet at the back, so if it's bad, don't tell me. Um, I'm trying to find something nice to say, but nothing's coming to mind. We missed the most important part of the hair, which is the front section, the front pieces of the head. Why are they always dark? How do you miss that piece? It is the most important piece of all. And then it's light up here on the back. I'm not getting it. The tone of the blonde at the ends looks pretty decent. I'll say that much. Um, the rest though, I'm not getting the vision. I just think she needs more dimension, a little bit less blonde, a little bit more of a warmer blonde would probably look good on her, make her hair look a more healthy. I think when you goes to ash, it turns kind of green. It kind of highlights the dryness of the hair if the hair is dry at all. So maybe a little bit of warmth to make that glow from within happen on the hair. Not my favorite look, but you know, not the worst one I've ever seen. What just happened? Those were some of the craziest highlight videos I've ever seen. Horrible is the word I'm looking for. Those were horrible. What the f you guys, don't do that again. If you want to check out my hair care line or my hair color line so you can have better hair than everybody else we saw today, <laughs> you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmotohair.com. That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.